Hello everyone, I know I haven't been uploading videos as often as I usually do recently, but I'm here to tell you that there will be more Shining the Light on videos coming up, and they're mostly going to be coming out during the fall time and around Halloween, because these episodes and videos are going to be about more horror related things. Now, if you're wondering what happened to Mike, also known as Ammo Clip 20, and why I haven't really been uploading more of his gameplay of editing and funny things such in that nature, it's because something unfortunate happened and he's kind of lost privilege of his YouTube channel. So I know it really hurts and kind of a little upset about it, but luckily, Tom, also known as the Indecisive Artist, has still has saved his Resident Evil 6 streams of him and Mike playing. So luckily, I'm going to be able to turn this into a whole new series, very similar to the Egg Wars. So expect this after the Halloween and more into the holidays. So not, only, not to mention that, but I already kind of have this little segment set up for Halloween that's apart from shining the light on. So hearing this, just be patient, because it or you can already hear that there's going to be a chock full of content. Not to mention that I'm pretty excited for most of the stuff to come out. Moving on, as I've said in the past, I've only taken one class of video and filmmaking in high school. So in the past month, I've been kind of experimenting with special effects and video editing techniques and filmmaking techniques that I've been kind of teaching myself that most people would generally learn in, through more classes. So I've been kind of pleased with the results and so have some people that have seen it through my Facebook page. So I've decided to, instead of upload each little one minute project, I've decided to collaborate all of them into one video, which is what this video is right now. And I've decided, the main reason to do this is so that way I can kind of explain why I made this and kind of explain what was the process of it, the fun, and what I was trying to accomplish, and then what I thought of the result. So one of the first videos I did was messing around with a little green screen of a little rubber ducky that I had in front of a green screen, and then not to mention composing it behind some some trees and some of the things in my yard to make it look like a monster movie, because at the time, you knowing Halloween's coming up, I've been watching some Frankenstein movies, so it got me into this kind of monster-making mood. And uh, so it ended up being really funny, a lot of people enjoyed it, and the only thing is, I filmed it by myself outdoors, and so at a far distance, the focusing was really off. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. The next little project is, I actually filmed this the same day, I filmed this in my garage. I loved seeing practical effects from horror movies, so I decided to kind of make like an accidental little, little bit of a comical video. And so instead of using a cheap, um, a, a really cheap way to, or a quick way, um, to be able to, to do a, a limb cutting, injury is that most people will show a little bit right before something happens and they'll cut and then you'll see the person's reaction and then you'll see the result which is very easy to do. What I wanted to do was actually physically see my finger getting cut. So what I ended up doing was getting a little foam insulation and I, I filled it with some fake blood and I just wrapped the hell out of it with some electrical tape and then I was it was about the size of a finger so I slid it inside a glove and you actually get to see me cut what it looks like my finger so it's a nice little gruesome touch that I've really loved to see in horror movies so I decided to make something like that and this was the result
So here's a short one that I did that I was messing around a little bit more with the green screen. And so I decided to mess around with this little wooden plane that I've made a couple moments back that I got from, I believe it was Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And I just decided what it would be like if I made a little airplane video, kind of like King Kong, and uh, kind of like, you know, those old-fashioned monster King Kong Godzilla movies, and, and just be able to toy with that and see what it resulted to. As for the next thing, I've always seen stop motion videos and I know if I took a second year in film class that they were going to do stop motion, they were going to teach stop motion video, which I never got around to doing. So it was something I, I was very curious of and I wanted to, the first video to be just something quick and basic. I just wanted to play with the silly putty and just make the little silly putty move. But I got such a positive review of the Devil Duck from the first monster little video, so I decided to throw him in there just for the heck of it. And a lot of people loved it, not to mention I did get a little bit of help from a little classic score from a nice classic horror movie. <laughs> Now lastly, I was giving this monitor from work and it had a power source along with the HDMI outlet so I was kind of going to use this for personal use. But if it didn't work, I already had a plan B. Well it turned out it didn't work. So here came plan B that I was going to use this to be able to cover it in blue or green and chroma key or green screen the face of this monitor and be able to use it for something. Now I'm not going to show the end result because I actually ended up using this little this little footage that I used of it and actually used it for my next video. So if you want to be able to see what that is, make sure to stay tuned for the next video and you'll be able to see the end result. And as for that, thank you for watching.